Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to the Anime Review. Today we're looking at episode 3 of Full Metal Panic, Invisible Victory. So, mecha fans out there, you probably love this week's episode of Full Metal Panic. Uh, it was about 95% mecha, and that's not I'm not complaining about that. That was really cool. Um, you know, you can definitely tell the animation styling from, you know, even the first two seasons versus now has definitely improved. You know, there's still some... A little bit weak CGI. I mean, the mecha stuff wasn't the best I've ever seen in my life, but it was still solid to see they go against these um, giant, like, almost, I don't know what they were called, but I, they were like Goliaths almost. And what was funny was we already had our first f uh, few deaths where, you know, it's the, the basically the known, you, the no, I want to say the no-name characters. I mean, the, we had the one guy, Spec, who was the one who uh, tried to cause a riot last week's episode. Um, you know, he was, he was taken out. He was crushed, which... That was actually kind of messed up, and, and you know, Kurtz uh, was able to shoot out the eyes of the Goliath and then shoot him out, so he was, you know, he destroyed the Goliath, but the problem was is that the, the guy died, unfortunately. Uh, and then the um, the other commander took uh, took control and ended up dying for, uh, I forget what her name is, the, the one chick, though, that's, uh, that I think her, it was Uzu, uh, Uzu 2, I think it is, is what her code name is. I always forget her name though. I'm terrible with her name, and I, it's because she's someone that pops up so infrequently at times. Like she shows up for a little while, then kind of just dies out again, then shows up again. So I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah, the, the whole mecha stuff was cool. It, you know, like I said before, the CGI was a little weak to it. It, it really, it was noticeable. in when like the, the certain movements happened, like for example, when um they lost their arms for the for the units, you can see it was kind of like a little weak there. But for the most part, the Goliaths looked really solid, and and I have no issue with that. But you know, it was it was it was still solid. I, I enjoyed it. I think it, I think most of the people would probably like it out there too. Uh, but then I think the ending is where really I, I like this week's episode a lot more. Is that we see the school and we also see um, really Sosuke and Shidori talking. Where you know Konami and, and Sosuke are now finally talking about how they're feeling with each other. Where Konami tells you know uh, Sosuke that she's afraid of him. And, you know, it's because she's not, it's not that she doesn't like him. She does have strong feelings for him, but she's afraid. She's afraid of what he is. She's afraid of what he can do. And I think it's just more so because of the fact that she's swarmed in all this chaos that she has. Now, I also wanted to mention um, one of my uh, commenters from last week's episode, an uh, Arizona anime fan, told me that from the light novels, which is not explained in the anime, that when she was in a car crash, you know, or during a car crash sequence, she, she got a concussion from it, and it kind of affected her mindset for a little while, thus why she acts the way that, you know, she was doing before, where she was, like, panicking really fast. And, you know, that really, that probably would have been better explained in a way that, like, showed her actually getting concussed, because, you know, they've done that before in anime, where they show, like, the character either getting very blurry or, or just having this weird kind of mindset, and she... They really didn't do that with it. You know, they made it look like everyone was okay in the car and, and really more so than anything else. Sosuke was the one who took the brunt of it. So, it, it, you know, I appreciate that you told me about that, man. It's it's very helpful to know that. But, you know, uh, uh, going back to what we were talking about, though, you know, then what's funny is Sosuke tells her the same thing, essentially, where he's crazy for her. You know, he, he loves that she, she smiles and acts angry, but he hates how he doesn't understand her. You know, there's something about her he just doesn't get and he's afraid of that. And it's because maybe his training, it's because of maybe his lifestyle, it's kind of put him into that situation. But, you know, it's for both of them, they're afraid of each other. It's a common thing. And I mean, think about it. Couples are kind of always afraid of each other to the point that you're, you're trying to feel each other out. Especially when you get closer to someone, you know, you're starting to see them for a little bit more details. And you're like, oh, do I, you know, do, I didn't know this about that before or I didn't see that before in them. So it kind of makes sense. And I like the way they did it. It was a very nice dynamic to it where it shows these two are getting closer. And I could almost predict by the end of the season that they're going to get into a relationship. I, I hope that they, by the end of the season they get into a relationship. I mean, if they didn't, I'd get kind of pissed off at that. But I would also understand that, you know, the show might want to keep them always at that friend zone level or that, that where they they're, they have feelings for one another, but at the same time they can't be together for reasons. Or I, I don't want that to happen, but I could see them doing that. Um, but yeah, this week's episode was pretty solid overall. I, I didn't think it was crazy great. I think it, it did a nice thing for a setup again. And, you know, that's perfectly fine, man. I mean, we got some action. We got a little bit of story. We got some character stuff that's going to set up for, you know, their, their kind of adventure to, to rescue a, Kai, was it? a Keiko, excuse me, and, and the rest of the students of the school because they little do they know they're in kind of deep crap with this one dude running above, you know, and uh, setting up his whatever he's trying to set up. Like, he has a bomb around here and stuff like that. I'm like, ooh. But anyways, what did you guys think about this week's episode? I'd love to hear from the comments below. Yes, I got a haircut, by the way, in case you 
you know, did not watch the video. I, I kind of put that out before because solely I don't want like a thousand people to comment now and be like, oh, you got a haircut. I just noticed it. It's like, yeah, so this way you, you saw it last video I put up, which was important. On the, I did that on purpose. And thank you, Car Alarm, for, you know, always interrupting me. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great blessed day, everyone. God bless you all. I've done my reviews. Um, tomorrow and Sunday, uh, expect some of the reviews to be kind of out later, only because I'm going to be busy for the last couple of days I'm getting, and I want also to rest a little bit. I do have to start work Monday, so, you know, I, I don't want to spend my weekends just doing like a million reviews and stuff like that, to be honest with you. But I'll see you guys then. We'll see what happens with how I do everything. Bye-bye, everyone.